All right. So, Janie, got a big question for you. All the fans are asking or wondering, when are you going to get married? Never. <laughs> I want my red legs. <laughs> you hear it, you guys? You heard it. She's never going to get married because all she wants to collect is her red bags. <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> Peace. All right, so we're getting a little hungry now. Um, we decided to go grab a bite and we're gonna go try out Gordon Ramsay's uh, Bread Street. Kind of excited. Um, I seen it like about a year ago in the uh, another vlog on YouTube. Uh, it looks pretty good. Um, kind of excited to go and try it. Uh, we're gonna try it out before we head over to the gardens. All right, follow along, guys. So we're on our way to Bread Street. I got Swoon joining us again. She likes to eat too. As you can tell with all her, uh, all her on her Instagram page, all about food. So we're gonna order today. I don't know. We have to go to the menu. I know. I actually I didn't even look at the menu yet. I don't even know. It's gonna be a surprise for me. So. All right, guys. See you there. So we're all settled in here at the. Uh, Bread uh, Street. Um, just looking over the menu right now, there's actually a lot of good stuff here to uh, choose from. Um, hard to hard to uh, decide. They do have a set menu, uh, two course and a three course. But I'm not one for set menus at all. I like to just choose my own, make my own uh, uh, dinner or lunch. So we're gonna go from there. I don't know. Should I choose the grilled or? I think maybe it might go with the steak. I was gonna wear the That little bit of bacon? Oh shit, so good, man. At any Gordon Ramsay restaurant? Anyone try chicken? Make sure you get the. Uh, Pantsier scallops, always good, man. Always good. The little anchovy that they put on top of the Caesar salad always kind of ruins it because a little too strong for me. Good, and that is actually really good. But if you like the anchovy smell or the anchovies, you, the salad would be actually really good for you. Okay, up next, I'm gonna try the uh, tamarind chicken wings. Oh, so good, man. Oh. I tell you guys, one of the best things about traveling around the world is trying all these different types of food. I've been, I guess, I've been lucky and been blessed to uh, do it. I hope these vlogs inspire you guys to travel the world if you guys can travel travel while you can while you're young and capable but these world this locally you just can't eat this kind of food you know you know I've watched those other youtubers and totally inspired me you know to do start vlogging my own experience and stuff and uh, sometimes some of it is you know heartfelt Heart touching, you know, and that's why I'm doing it to share with you guys. Hopefully, I'm just uh, as inspiring and uh, touch you guys in the same way. So, you know, another thing that I absolutely love is uh, sugar cane, like Coke or root beer. I know you can get it in like Mexico and South America and stuff like that, it's uh, pretty popular down there. Uh, you can get it in the southern states, but up in Canada, it's, uh, it's, it's harder to get because uh, we just have a regular Coke. But uh, sugar cane coke, uh, root beer, oh, so good. Let's see if uh, Gordon Ramsay uh, has it here or not. I want to try ordering, see if they have it. Yeah. Excuse me, do you have a sugar cane coke or root beer here? Sugar cane coke? Yeah, or root beer? No, sir. No, I'm eh? so sorry about that. Yeah, okay, all right, thank you. Can I just get a regular coke then? Coke? Yeah, yeah, thanks. All right, guys. <laughs> Tough luck. No sugar cane coke or root beer. What? Worth a try. <laughs> Next time in Mexico, we'll get sugarcane coke. 
That's probably one of the best cokes to drink like when it's super cold and super fizzy. Comment below if you guys agree with what I said. Coke is the best when you drink it when it's super cold and super fizzy. Leave a comment below, you guys. Every time I've eaten at a Gordon Ramsay restaurant, I've always wondered like if I were gonna get a chance to ever run into him, because I always watch his Instagram and he either he's either at the restaurant that week or two weeks before I get to Vegas, or every time I go there, he always arrives like after I get to, uh, after I leave. That sucks, but I never know. Hopefully one day, me, Mr. Uh, Gordon Ramsay himself. I guess hex. I guess. Hashtag checklist, meet Gordon Ramsay in person, once in a lifetime. So after we uh, finish uh, lunch here, we're gonna head over to the garden. Um, this is where they recorded the after party or the wedding party at the uh, in the movie Crazy Rich Asians. It's the one with all the fancy lights and all the uh, flowers and the, uh, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head over there after. All right guys, so uh, what do you guys think of uh, Gordon Ramsay? Very good. <laughs> out of 10, what do you think? About a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, eh? I'd say this one, I would, I would give it a... I give it an 8. For me, I would say... I give it a 7 out of all the Gordon Ramsay restaurants that I've gone to. I think this one's a 7. Why is that? But this one has all the... Because it's a sticky toffee pudding. It was made out of banana. Oh and that I would have gave an eight. I'm not a banana bread lover, so Jeez. that ruined it for me. And then the uh, it was the um, Caesar salad was a little too strong for me with the anchovies on top of it. But on that, yeah, pretty good, pretty good experience. So if you're ever in Singapore, hit up Bread Street Kitchen by Gordon Ramsay. All right, guys. So we're gonna head over to the. Uh, Hotel room right now. We're gonna drop off all of our leftovers and we're gonna go over to the garden at the Marina Bay. All right, see you guys when we get there. Spectacular. Pretty crazy from up here. I'll show you. Make my way over here and we're gonna come back. Sorry, sorry. The walkway is pretty thin. It's pretty narrow. The walkway is pretty narrow here. Like, you can barely get two people through. So. Spectacular view, guys. Gonna, so we're gonna try, try to take some pictures here. And uh, enjoy ourselves. So we just finished up with the walk on the Super Tree Grove. Um, the view is actually pretty spectacular, as you've seen. Uh, so to get up there, you have to pay eight dollars for adults and five dollars for uh, children. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty short, but it's it's well worth it. It's uh, to actually see the view of the garden at a totally different uh, perspective. So yeah. If you like that kind of stuff, go on and check it out. Alright guys, I'm gonna end off this week's vlog on top of the observation sky view deck at the Marina Bay Sands Hotel with this beautiful background of Singapore in the background. I'm gonna go enjoy myself uh, with a cold brew iced coffee and enjoy the view while I'm here. Um, I'm gonna take it as all this scenic backdrop. 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this week's vlog uh, with my adventures in uh, Singapore here at the uh, Marina Bay Sands uh, Hotel. But uh, follow along. We'll see where our next adventure takes us. All right, see you guys in the next vlog.